Sap, if you guys haven't figured it, oh, 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 sorry guys, sorry, we're gonna let this fizzle out, I'm trying, I'm trying to not burn the house down, should have not took these out, all right, whew, I think we're good, anyway, hey motherfuckers, happy birthday Bob Sap, we're fucking doing it, it is Bob Sapp's 50th birthday on Friday, and I said, hey, I've had this sitting in my basement for like six months. Let's fucking open this thing up. So we're going to fucking do it. Thank God that these Japanese people in the fucking late 90s, early 2000s loved wrestling and martial arts, and they fucking did a bunch of crazy shit, which included... A 30 card, uh, actually 42 card set of uh, Bob Sapp cards that we're going to look at right now. But before we get to talking about these cards, let's talk about Bob Sapp for a minute. Because holy fuck, man, we're talking about a dude that in fucking... So <clears throat> these combine stats probably aren't very good for somebody right now that's 6'5", 300 pounds... What was he? Here, let's take a look. See here in 19 nights. So, uh, 64303, 1.540 yard, which I think, I think dudes are running like fucking 48485 four, now. Um, but I mean, goddamn, this isn't fucking 1997. This fucking dude was running that. Uh, 30 reps on bench at 225, vertical jump. Uh, he was a real freak of nature. So unfortunately, he did. He had a cup of coffee in the in the NFL. He played for, uh, I believe, the Chicago Bears, and he also played for the Minnesota Vikings. And he got suspended from the NFL for. Um, you guys are going to be really shocked by this, but <laughs> he got uh, suspended from the NFL for steroid use. <laughs> um. And Andrustine, which is like what Mark McGuire and all the fucking guys were taking back then, uh, just getting juice to the gills. Um, but even before he was taking fucking steroids, dude, like what a, he was just a freak athlete, even like as a, like his, his build, his entire life, uh, playing football in high school, college, like he was, he, he's just a gifted athlete to, to begin with. Um, the tragic thing about Bob Sapp's career after he got out of the NFL is he had a really shady um, financial advisor that stole all his money. So he was super, super broke and fucking he had no way to really make money after he, he was done with the NFL. So he ended up uh, at a training combine for WCW, uh, the, the wrestling organization. And he met up with a guy by the name of Sam Greco. This guy right here. He met up with Sam Greco. And Sam Greco was actually going to um, this, like, training thing to get into the WCW to be a pro wrestler as well. So him and Sam Greco made it in. Um, and they actually became friends. And then as soon as they... So Sam and Bob got into the WCW, like, they got a contract, and then, like, 10 days later, the WWF and Vince McMahon uh, <laughs> bought, bought the WCW and nixed, like, all of the, um, you know, the, the talent contracts that weren't actually, like, wrestling at the time. So Bob Sapp found himself in a fucking real situation. So 
Sam Greco said, hey, why don't you come over and fucking uh, do some wrestling, do some fighting. Um, and that's what he did. And I'm hoping that's what we're going to get into here. Uh, I did open this up briefly. The seller of this said that uh, the box was open, but the cards, he had not went through them. They were still sealed. Um, when I got this, I opened it up and it had this real shady um, like tape on it. And it's the same tape that um, the, the Andy Hug set that I bought sealed came in. So I know that he never went through these cards. So all I did was open it up. Um, and then this is what was on top. Oh my God, look at that. That's a piece of the shirt that Bob Sapp is wearing in that picture. And it's on this card. That's not very exciting. So... All right, we're going to flip this over, and then we're just going to go one by one. We're going to start uh, going through these cards. I think this should be from the beginning. So this is Bob Sapp versus Notishi uh, Yakamoto. Um, I believe that is one of his pr first pride fights. Uh, it's not his first kickboxing fight because that was against... Um, not a Sako, I forget, ta, ta, z, ta oh, these names are so hard. Uh, Toshihiro, Tadesako is the last, the, uh, not a Sako is the last name. Um, but I think this might be his first pride fight that he won. All right. All right, here is uh, Yoshihiro Nakamoto, which is definitely a pride fight. Sorry if I don't know uh, the names of some of these fighters that he fought early. Um, I know he had a couple K1 fights, and then he had a couple Pride fights, like, back-to-back. -back. He signed a five-year contract, and he fought, like, fucking eight million times. Fought. Fought. Eight million times. Um, sorry, I gotta start turning these around since they have different pictures. Oh, that's so fucking sweet. Alright, I'll remember to flip these around from now on since there's some fucking sweet things. Okay, here it is. So, this fight, uh, Bob Sapp versus, uh, yeah, Tiyoshi Nakasato. I was close. I was close. Um, he lost this fight because he beat the fuck out of this guy on the ground. Oh, there's Maurice Smith in the background. That's sick. So, Bob Sapp was trained by um, Maurice Smith. Um, Josh Barnett, um, who was one of his, like, who was his main trainer then? Who was that? It had to have been somebody sick. Um, I digress, sorry. Oh, so cool. But yeah, he lost this fight by DQ because he knocked the guy down, and then, um, the ref, like, stepped in to give him the count, and he just kept fucking punching him while he was on the ground. <laughs> All right, there is Bob fucking flexing on some fucking Japanese dude. Oh yeah, okay. So this is his uh, this is his first um, K one match right here against uh, Kiyoshi Tamora, which is what they're showing here. I think this is them probably announcing him. These are fun as fuck. All right, we're getting to the meat and potatoes already. Holy shit. So I guess it's not like, so his, I think this was his third fight in Pride. I think he had two kickboxing matches. This is a guy that played football. He had two kickboxing matches, two MMA matches, and then he fought fucking Big Nog and fucking pile drived him into oblivion before he got, um, Big Nog hit a switch on him and uh, got on top, and I believe finished him by uh, Kimura, key lock, something like that, some sort of shoulder lock. I'll start going a little bit faster here, sorry guys. So we're already nine minutes in, I've been yipping my yipper, but if you guys don't know who the fuck ba Bob Sap, Bab Sap, Bob Sap is, please, um, oh, nice, uh, Surreal Abidi. So, Bob Sapp's signature strike in kickboxing was um, the uh, over-the-top club to the back of the head, which was completely illegal. But when the Yakuza is running things and all of the uh, referees have an earpiece in, like, he can do whatever the fuck he wants. It doesn't matter. 
that's him being like, yeah, I won. And Surreal is just like, I'm a professional athlete. How the fuck did I lose to this steroid freak? Who knows? They might have paid him money. No, they didn't pay him money. No. Oh. Now we're getting to the big stuff. Bob Sapp beat Ernesto Hoos twice. Once by Dr. Stoppage from a cut, but he was also pretty injured um, from hammer fists to the back of the head um, and just sheer aggression from Bob Sapp. Yeah, there it is again. And the thing is, so Ernesto's in the corner here and like he doesn't look like he hits hard because he doesn't know how to throw punches, but he's still fucking... 350 pounds and some like this hand gets through like some of these break right through his guard and um a lot of them land and even though like there's not that much force like when you're that fucking big holy shit i know who the great muda is but i don't think i've ever seen this wrestling match this is a uh one of the rest wrestling cards um the japanese as soon as they met bob sap in uh you know the superdome they fucking fell in love with him they absolutely fell in love with him there's another great muda card and then i would assume if these are going in order yep so 20 this last card was 20 22 11 17 and this is 22 12 7 <laughs> this is how much time in between the shit that he's doing is happening for you guys to know if you want to look back through with these uh, time posts here. So I think this is the second Ernesto Hoost fight, which he also fucking won. Yeah, there's Ernesto sitting on his fucking ass being like, why is this giant guy beating me and clubbing me over the head? Oh. And here it is. Uh, Yoshihiro Takeyama versus Bob Sapp. Yoshihiro did the same thing he did against Don Fry. He ran out and he tried to grab his fuck back of his head and just start punching. Just start punching. I don't know who remember won this one. I don't remember who won this one. <laughs> Look at the hair flop from him. Oh, if you guys don't know anything about uh, Yoshihiro Takeyama... Uh, do yourself a treat and go look at him against Don Fry. Go look at him, uh, obviously, against Bob Sapp. Bob Sapp, Bob. Oh, okay. I think I remember hearing about this. So, after Ernesto Hoost and Bob Sapp's uh, K1 boxing ma uh, kickboxing matches, they had a grudge grudge match uh, in, um, whatever the, the big, um, wrestling organization at the time was in Japan. And they had what is known as one of the worst wrestling matches in the history of Japanese wrestling. That's just a close up on the non-action. Oh, and there's a, uh, another one of that, uh, him pinning Ernesto Hoost. Oh, I like that. Shh. Here's him looking confused, throwing punches. Maybe Ernesto knocked him down and he got up one time. That didn't happen very often. Uh, if Bob Sapp goes down, uh, he goes down and he doesn't get up and he's done that about 600 times. That's not true. That's terrible. Oh, maybe these aren't in order. There's uh, 2020. No, that's in order. Uh, two. Yeah. Teosu Nakasoko. Another fucking awesome, uh, awesome fucking karate fighter, um, Japanese fighter. If you guys want to go look into old school karate and kickboxing in Japan, uh, this would be a good guy to go take a look at. A lot of fun. All right, there's him winning against Surreal Abidi again. They only fought once. All right, so some of these are definitely uh maybe out of order because i don't i don't know if they fought three times or not but here's more of him beating the fuck out of ernesto hoost oh maybe this is the second time maybe they did the wrestling match in between the two i don't know somebody let me know my brain's getting kind of scrambled right now i have so much shit going on in my fucking brain i can't keep my kickboxing together 
I just can't believe that he allegedly beat Ernesto Hoos twice. That's insane. Look at that horrible stance. Just getting kicked in the gut and fucking, fucking jabbed to the fucking uh, orbital bone by Crow Cop. Hopefully, there's a Crow Cop uh, pitcher fight fight pitcher in here. That'd be fucking sweet. It's another Ernesto Hoost. Boy, they love to show or uh, show him be getting beating the fuck out of Ernesto Hoost, which makes sense. Like those are his biggest wins. Like it's so impressive that he beat him twice. All right, it's another. <laughs> Trying to get his leg up. He's looking all buff again. Whose hair is that behind him? Is that Musashi? I think he fought Musashi too. I'm pretty sure he fought Musashi and Esther Hoost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. This is the man we love. The guy that sells fucking every single fucking item you can buy in Japan. Just get, just look at that charismatic fuck. The variety of expressions. Oh, he's so silly. Oh, this is so lame. <laughs> so embarrassing. But that's why the Japanese people loved him. Like, um, he was like this lovable, soft, lovable, um, likeable, likeable guy until he got in the ring. And then he just had no experience in martial arts or fighting and would just club or lang your ass. Just fucking, uh, just, just literally just pound his fist however it was facing, like. God bless, uh, oh, it was Hume. Um, Hume and Josh Barnett and Maurice, uh, uh, Maurice Smith uh, trained Bob Sapp. And uh, he was lazy as fuck. He didn't like to train. But when you're that freak of an athlete, like, he made so much money, man. There's a one point in time he was living in his fucking car. And he went, he fucking worked hard and he made something out of himself. And I fucking love his career. I don't think this is a real autograph. I'm pretty sure it's just like the... I don't know. I'm pretty sure this is just like the Andy Hug one that had an autograph on the back. But I don't know. That one looks like it's on the card. Actually. Dice... Did we just get a fucking beast? Did we just get a fucking Bob Sapp autograph? No. Nah. I'm gonna... Sl nah. No. It doesn't... kind of looks like it, though, doesn't it? kind of looks like it's just magic marker on there. That really looks like it's just magic marker on there. The last one I pulled up had a uh, autograph on there, but it was obviously, like, etched into the card. You could, like, tell it's in the card. That doesn't fucking... This video is already 18 minutes long. That doesn't look like it's in the card. It's probably in the card. I'm still gonna I'm still gonna sleeve this one. In case it's not. Alright, I think we got a couple cards left here. Sorry guys. Uh Bob's Bob uh oh, I think that's maybe Bobby's dad. Is that Bobby's oh no, is that Bob? That's not Bob. I think that might be uh Bob Sapp's dad and his cat, maybe? Um, I know Bob Sepp's dad was a police officer in Colorado in like the late 70s and 80s, um, which for an African American, uh, being a police officer in the 70s and 80s is probably pretty rough. Um, but yeah. All right, last card. Ah, uh, Bob Sepp is a young man. Just a baby. Oh, look at little Bobby there. Yeah. 74, 9, 22. Happy 50th, Bob Sapp. Let me guys know what you think. If you guys know anything about autographs, let me know if that's on the card. Like, I've never seen one of these in the wild. Um, there's a few of them on eBay, but I don't know if they show the backs and if there's an actual autograph on them. So 
uh, this is probably on card, but uh, 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 I mean, it's probably printed on the card. It's probably not a real autograph, but uh, either way, Godspeed, party on, uh, like, like, and subscribe. Um, fucking check out Sam Greco, too. If you don't know who fucking Sam Greco is, he's an awesome kickboxer. I fucking love kickboxing. Uh, God bless, Godspeed, party on, bye-bye.